Hi guys and welcome, whoa, just hit a hair in my face. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video on how long it took me to feel comfortable in the ICU. A lot of people ask me this question uh, because the ICU is tough. Any nursing position is tough, really. Like this could apply to pretty much any position. Um, but the ICU is obviously a specialized area. You're taking care of really sick people and it's a lot of pressure and um, adrenaline, so to speak, uh, of not messing something up to where you could potentially harm someone. So a lot of you guys ask, when did I feel comfortable in the ICU? And my go-to answer that I always tell people is, you should never really feel 100% comfortable. You should definitely feel like 98% comfortable, but there should always be that little bit of like uncomfortableness because you need to check yourself and that's like, that's your catch, that's your fallback. That is like your instinct telling you that like something's not right, double check this, triple check this, make sure you're doing everything correctly. So you never wanna feel 100% comfortable in any area of nursing because you just, that's how we make mistakes is when we get too lenient and comfortable and relaxed. I would say that probably by about six months in the ICU is when I felt like, okay, no matter what patients I get, I can handle this. I was, by six months, I was ready to start taking on new challenges, like doing different certifications, like the Rotoprone and um, Balloon Pump and just different certification things to um, gain more experience in the ICU. And I feel like six months is kind of the go-to mark for most nursing areas. Some people a little less, some people a little bit more. And by a year, I really was just feeling like, okay, throw whatever you want my way. If I don't know it, I'll figure it out. And that's how kind of where I'm at now is it doesn't matter. You can give me the two tele patients that need to get downgraded and transferred to different rooms, or you can give me the really the one sick, sick, sick patient that's on four pressers, eight, nine, 10 drips total, has so many doctors following on CRRT. Like you can give me whatever patient you want. And if I don't know something, I will ask and figure it out. So I guess that's the simple answer is just you never feel comfortable 100%, but six months and by a year for sure, um, everyone's a little bit different and this can apply to every area of nursing. But I hope this answers that question a little bit for you guys. Um, if you have any other questions, leave them down below. Let me know when you started feeling comfortable, and I say that again because you never should feel 100% comfortable in your area in nursing and share that down below so others can hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.